Well, shalom, shalom. I'm Barbara, and I'm always sure and sweet. Well, we all know that Halloween is pagan, but originally Halloween was a pagan festival, and we all know that, and it was around the fire and the dead and the powers of darkness. So how did they get into the church? All Saints Day might be what you know it as. Uh, most everyone knows that Halloween takes place on October 31, but far fewer, however, understand the connection between Halloween and the next day on the calendar, the Festival of All Hallows or All Saints Day, uh, celebrated by some churches and denominations November 1. Well, uh, here is from Wikipedia telling you all about it, that it's in the Roman Catholic Church, to the Lutheran, the Methodist, uh, as Hallows Day. So uh, All Saints Day is tied to Halloween, and it was established to commemorate the saints and martyrs of the Roman Catholic Church, and it was first introduced in the 7th century. Uh, oddly enough, though, history shows that Halloween, this ancient, thoroughly pagan holiday with its trappings of death and demonism, is inseparably tied to All Saint Days. And I'll leave all these links for you to search this out for yourself. Well, churches celebrate All Saints Day on November 1 to coincide with or replace the Celtic festival known in Ireland and Scotland as Samhain. Pagan festivals from time immemorial have had a curious way of worming their way into Christianity over the centuries. As we know, paganism entered church, and the church baptized a lot of pagan rituals. Well, this is just another one. And by adding a Christian celebration to the calendar on the same day as Samhain, the ancient Celtic name for the festival that eventually would be renamed Halloween. And so that was added to the church also. And the Christian festival, the Feast of All Saints, commemorates the known and unknown saints of the Christian religion, just as Samhain had acknowledged and paid tribute to the Celtic deities. So we have the Celtic deities up here on the left, and then we have the Christian ones, where everything is baptized from paganism into Christianity. And also, I did one about St. Patrick just a little while ago. So I hope you go and look that one up. Well, Samhain is observed from sunset on October 31st to sunset on November 1st. And it is a celebration that is the origin of Halloween. Samhain was first observed by Celtic pagans. And it is a Wiccan holiday. It is one of their eight major holidays, or Sabbats. The meaning behind Samhain remains the same today. There are many rituals associated with the Samhain today. These include dancing, feasting, teaching nature walks, building altars to honor their ancestors. And there are many parts of the altars Wiccans build to symbolize the end of the harvest, like apples or pumpkins or fall crops and to represent the spirits of the dead, skulls or skeletons are placed on the altar. So um, uh, I tried to find some pictures for you. The pictures are just so evil. They all have uh, Wiccan rituals, so I decided not to put them on here for you. Uh, Samhain is a time-honored tradition followed by witches and Wiccans, ancient Druids, and countless other modern pagans across the world celebrated as October turns to November. Samhain is a festival of the dead, meaning summer's end. And though you're probably tempted to pronounce Samhain, it's actually pronounced Samhain. Samhain, we've heard of Halloween, Samhain. So how did this strange turn of events come about? The Catholic Church transforming an ancient pagan festival Samhain into one supposedly to honor deceased saints. Well, the date coincided with Samhain was no accident that the church was still trying to absorb pagan celebrations that took place at the same time. And, you know, the villagers were all told to uh, masquerade as uh, 
spirits and uh, go through the cities looking like saints or angels or devils. And that was the custom they all went through. But uh, in addition, the church tried to convince the people that the great bonfires they lit in homage of the sun would instead keep the devil away. So um, it's all about Halloween. It's all about Samhain, a uh, pagan festival. And we all know Halloween is evil, but did you know that it's entered the churches through All Saints Day? And here is a quote from the Catholic Church. What is All Saints Day? It's one of the three ma the major festivals of the Catholic Church. And on this day, we honor not only the saints we know by name in heaven, but also any saints whose names we don't know. And there are so many saints in heaven who don't have an official feast day, but are all still special nonetheless. All Saints Day is a day dedicated to them. So the paganism has been baptized and has entered into the churches like the Catholic Church that celebrates pagan origins and pagan religions. Uh, also, um, Pope Gregory the Thirteenth concentrated a chapel in the Basilica of St. Peter to the All Saints fixed anniversary for November 1. So it goes on and continues on today as November 1 and also October 31 all tied together. So Hosea 4, 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So I know that you didn't know these things. So like if this is a blessing to you and please share this with your friends at Love Yeshua. Remember, Revelation 18, 4 says, I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and receive not of her plagues. Maybe your church celebrates All Saints Day and you didn't know it had pagan origins. So remember, I'm short and sweet, so I'll see you all next time. Yeah, willing. Thank you for being here today.